<laughs> That's so funny. So, Nathaniel, what are we talking about today? Well, me and Team Mango here are about to get a workout in. And every day, if you're trying to get in shape, you got to be working out. And some people struggle with that. Well, let's, let's take it from the start. What are you drinking? This is my... I don't go work out without it. It's my coffee. Every day before my workout, I make a cup of coffee. Yeah, so if you drink coffee, which most of you probably do, or tea, I would encourage you to uh, do that before you work out. And Timothy was talking earlier about how every time, every day comes around where you know you're going to work out, but you feel a little unmotivated, you know, that like midday peak. And my recommendation to overcoming that is just getting started. Don't view your whole workout, but warm up. Warming up for me is crucial. I warm up 10 to 15 minutes, nothing hard, just real light. And that warm up will start, once you get the blood going, you will just automatically, your energy levels will start to increase dramatically. Yeah, if you're anything, if you're anyone like me, <clears throat> every day, oh, nearly every day, I'm faced with a little demon that t tries to talk me out of working out. It's like, ah, you're not really feeling into it today. Maybe you should stop, right? And I just feel lazy. And there's a big part of me that it happens every day where I just don't feel like working out or moving my body and using it. Mm -hmm. But that little demon <laughs> has been my motivator. <laughs> Because I'm like, today, not today, brother, not today, brother demon, I'm going to overcome you. And I'm going to overcome you big time. Because it's and also every day after I get done working out, I can guarantee you that I feel better than I, I, I feel better, I feel better after working out than I did before I got started. Mm hmm for sure. And it's cold out here today, and we are doing our workout outside. And how much easier is it to do it inside in the comfort of a warm environment? But just what I'm saying, man, just get warm. you got to get warm any way you can. I do it with coffee, a little chocolate, and taking my warm-up seriously. We are really good at coming up with excuses not to do things that are a little uncomfortable. And If you find yourself making excuses why you're not working out, then you should think twice. Yep, just get that first foot going. Just warm up. It's a cinch by the inch and hard by the yard. That's a great point. You know, I often find myself getting attached to like, like I start looking at the whole workout, like thinking I have to get every little bit done and, and I have to progress from what I did last week. Well, let me tell you, that, let me tell you, we want to be led out of passion and not obligation. And if you're obligating yourself to do more than you did last week doing the same workouts, that could get a little boring. And we all know that the real key to success when working out is having fun. If you're not having fun... Oh yeah, you're not doing it right. You're not doing I mean, that. Right. That's a great point. I love my workouts. I love getting inverted. I love doing handstand, pull-ups, flipping around. I love lifting heavy weights, getting pumped up, feeling like a man, because that's what I am. Um, so yeah, do what do what floats your boat. If you're a girl and that's running on the treadmill, you get, you're going to join me out of that? Do that. Whatever it is. Make sure you're enjoying it. Oh, yeah. And just a little reminder, guys. You know, I'm reminded every day because we have our 99-year-old grandma sitting in there. Mm. And let me tell you, if you want to live a long life, a life where you're able to support yourself, and I'm just talking about functional movements here, everyday movements, like taking yourself to the restroom, being able to clean yourself, being able to get up off the floor, Guys, if you don't use it, you will lose it. If you don't lose it, don't use it, you lose it. That's right, you heard it straight from the source. Pound it. And it's important to be moving every day. Every day doing something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. You can pay for it now. By pay for it, I mean just work hard and enjoy your life, be a more athletic person and be functional later, or you can not do anything now, have a less enjoyable life, and then pay for it later through going to the hospital. Yeah, you know, we were all given one of the greatest gifts known to man. And you know what that is? That's the human body. You have one, I have one, he has one. Let's not, let's not take advantage of it. Let's treat it like a temple, the temple that God created to be. 
Oh yeah, and by the way, this coffee that I drink before my workouts is not any Folgers low quality, already ground up coffee. This is high quality beans. I ground it myself. I put it through an AeroPress. If you don't know what that is, hit us up because you want your coffee high quality. It came straight from the cap. Uh, it came straight from the coffee's tit. <laughs> How you feel? Good. I want you to ask yourself the question, what am I doing February 13th? And I want your answer to be coming to the Rob Ross retreat in Utah. And you know we'll be getting some good workouts in together. Email us, robrawls at gmail.com.